All right, so we're back. This used to be the grassroots Dayton show a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Time has gone by. Has time has been? gone by. And, and Greg was always the Republican, and I was always the Democrat. So we're not supposed to get along anyways. But guess what has happened since the last time we did one of these? I became a Democrat. How about that? I must be very convincing. No, I don't think that. It's because the Republicans have gotten so bad. Ah, and... and don't you think? Oh, I mean, uh, oh! I think I think the partisan politics have gotten to the extremes that well, the, the founding the fathers that used to embrace the, the fathers, Constitution yeah, no longer cares. No longer cares about the yeah. Constitution. They well, only care about power and maybe Jesus and aborting babies and yeah, well, God's guns and babies. God's That's guns all you have to know about the Republican Party. But because uh, there ain't no brains there. But Greg no longer lives in the state of Ohio, which is why you haven't seen him much. He lives in the state of. Wyoming. And what's weird about Wyoming? There's nothing weird about Wyoming. Oh, come on. Weird now. Wyoming funny. has two senators, but how many congressmen? One. One. There's only one in Montana, too. Yeah, so Greg was running for Congress. Against who? the war criminal's daughter. The war criminal being Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. And his daughter being Liz Cheney. And Greg and got his butt beat because... Well, 30 Thirty percent. That's about what. Thirty. That's about what most challengers to Mike Turner get. But uh, well, because I, it's, it's gerrymandered. If you really look at Dayton, Ohio, and the way it's done, and it's the test market town, at least it used to be. Right. Wyoming and the the Dayton area aren't much different. In, yeah, Wyoming in, was gerrymandered too back when it was drawn up. Cause, <laughs> well, because it's like seventy percent Republican. It became it. You know, its claim to fame, which is the cess with. Con- Sesqua, how do you do 150 years? Sesqua centennial of women getting the vote. And one of the main reasons they gave women the vote was because the black man got the vote. And so angry white men said, well, my gosh, my daughter has no say. (laughs) My wife has no say. So we gave uh, the white women in Wyoming the vote. Now, they like to claim that's a really good thing. They did that that before the rest of the country did. Yes, they did. Yes. So there you have it. Racism um, kind of transfers. You know, you can look at where it is in Montgomery County, and you can kind of transfer it out to Wyoming. Just as an aside, the University of Cincinnati decided to... uh, disown one of its founding um, donors because he once owned slaves. And when he left his money to start a university, it was for the white folks. So we're not, we're not too far away from uh, those problems here either. Well, if you look at, if you actually, the history of America is very interesting because Congress can express both our angels of our, what is it? Angels of our good nature and angels of our evil nature, if you really look at it. And because we're a democracy and a republic, we can pass onerous, nasty laws. And we can also pass things that benefit a lot of white people. So if you look at the Homestead Act, as America spread across the country, it gave out land to white people like crazy. Uh, Martin Luther King goes into this quite well, actually. And it also provided college to these white people that didn't Uh know how to farm. Um, of course, a lot of the land they tried to farm on, especially in Wyoming. <laughs> Not so good for farming. No, 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 no. no. So, so you got a little history that lesson there, but we're going to talk about what's going on today. Which... Well, one more thing. Wyoming is one of the most socialist states in America. How's that? It's because more than is... Alaska. Uh, well, Alaska hasn't got quite the oil it used to. Ah. So you'll notice the crime is going up there, but in Wyoming. All the services, and they have excellent services, are paid for by oil and gas. Really? We get $33,000 worth of tax benefit for $3,000 worth of investment by each individual. Matter of fact, the worst thing that the Wyoming can have is somebody move into the state, like me. Don't move into Wyoming like him. Oh, no, it's been fantastic. Loved every second. Okay, so what are we talking about today? So we're going to talk about what's going on today. And we'll go down in history for a long time, and it'll be studied and talked about for a long time, but it's the impeachment of Donald J. Trump. The impeachment of somebody who should have never been elected. Now, why do you say he should never have been elected? He won fair and square. The Electoral College helped him out big time. Well... Are you saying the Electoral College is bad? No, what I'm saying is that that Republicans are obviously, I think, when you get right down to it, just 
bad people and bad citizens. Because, poor citizens. Because they voted for Donald J. Trump instead of Hillary Clinton? Um, or because a bunch of Bernie bros didn't show up to vote for Hillary Clinton? Well, there, there is, uh, again, if we get down into the... The Russian weeds and the Ukrainian weeds, which I've gone down, down into, um, instead of listening to Fox News, which tells you lies every day. Again, the American public, and I think Republicans in general, like to be lied to. Uh, uh, truth, Rush Limbaugh. Tr I, I'm reading this book, and there's a quote in it. Truth is the bully we pretend to like. We don't really like the truth. Nobody, we really actually You can't like handle the truth. Exactly. <laughs> they exactly. can't. So the truth is... Um, Donald J. Trump was elected, and you say he shouldn't have been because why? Well, he was never qualified. Well, I mean, obviously not. I never understood. I mean... But that was the point. They wanted an outsider. They want somebody who would shake it up. And he has done that. He has shaken things up. I mean, he's, he's named people... The head of the energy department was somebody who said he'd, he'd shut it down. He had put a person in charge of public education that's a big charter school proponent... He uh, basically dismantled the EPA, which Greg actually is sort of an expert on when it comes to am, environmental uh, law. So, I mean, you're looking at a total dismantling of a whole bunch of things that are there to protect the American people. Well, and, 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 you know, pollution, climate change, according to Donald J. Trump, never happened, never will. Well, if you look at America and if you look at the world, it actually hasn't been, it's been a the best time to be alive. If you really look at the world statistics, I mean, poverty is down, okay. crimes down, wars are down. So why? It's like it's like um, the Republicans want to have something to whine about, and there's nothing, nothing in this world that is really going bad, except for the things that they create. It's almost like they want Jonestown. They want. <laughs> to drink the flavor aid and die. Well, here's the thing, you know. Unfortunately, electoral politics makes us drink that flavor aid. Too. If if I give you this credit card, this is the American Excess credit card. If I give you this credit card and you keep spending and spending and spending, and you never have to pay the bill, it's happy days, right? And that's what's happened under Donald Trump. Well, seriously, that's, that's I mean, that's, he is he is writing checks he can't. Cash. He can't. You can't cash. He can't pay. But what's wrong with that? So the entire world's doing that now. That gets way down into the weeds of economic okay. theory. But we've seen what happens when the banking system collapses. It's not pretty. I know. It's and and I have read, which I read a lot. I just like to tell you. No, reading, I read a ton. And the next global financial crisis, the GFC as we call it, GFC 2. GFC 2. Because there's always going to be a sequel, especially when the first one was so good. Uh, GFC 2 will be four times, four times as bad. So we've... Whatever happened to you in 2009, it's going to be like getting it four times over. You know, if the, if the banking system sees the, up and these... And the poor people around the world don't want to take our dollars anymore. I don't. Obviously, we have much more faith in money than we do God. <laughs> there is no doubt about that. And I'm glad both Republicans and Democrats have faith in the money and that they're willing to trade, you know, worthless pieces of paper issued with worthless presidents. Andrew Jackson was no prize. Um, he, but he did take him off the bill. But he did protect. I'll just say what Andrew Jackson did. He did make sure the separation between church and state maintained. So, okay. but let's let's get back to the whole impeachment thing. You're still saying Donald Trump shouldn't have got elected. He shouldn't he have got said, elected. He's unqualified. What else? Well, he also did impeachable acts. I mean, obviously, he did bribery. Uh, it's it's kind of an interesting. Analogy. You mean quid pro quo? Well, we don't know Latin anymore. Vidi Vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. I mean, that's really all we know. E pluribus unium. Oh, no, they do know a lot. Dio presso liber. Well, there's also that one. Have you seen that Mogo, whatever, the one where you take my weapons? No. There's a lot okay, of but, it. Okay, but let's, let's, I mean, it says right on our money, it says in God we trust. So, you know, obviously. Well, that was put in. Uh, obviously, he's been out to lunch because. Well, God was never there. Oh, no. Let's get back to the, so impeachable offense. So you're saying he did a deal with Ukraine, saying you ain't getting your money, 
until you do something for me. So cr- Ukraine so what? finally so elects. What, Greg? A, so what? Uh, you can't use our tax money for his As own leverage? benefit. To sure. benefit his Dick, own. Dick Cheney did it just fine um, for but, years. Well, he's a Republican. They lie. Oh, okay. I mean, but they didn't impeach Dick Cheney. Uh, they kept writing checks to Halliburton. He didn't use it for his direct benefit. He did it much better indirectly, and which is what Trump does on the emoluments clause. I mean, he's still okay. Even emol- though I, emoluments clause, let's let's straight. What does that mean? Means you can't you can't benefit as the president. Uh, your own businesses or yourself can't right. benefit for dealing for policies and deals. You I do. mean, Jimmy Carter had to sell his peanut farm well, Jimmy, because what? I mean, what was Jimmy Carter gonna do? Oh, he was gonna raise. He was gonna make billions off that peanut he, farm. He, he was gonna raise tariffs on peanuts. Oh my! So God. there wouldn't be any more competition for George peanuts. Obviously. Come on. What okay. The, I mean, see, the, to, in order to be a Republican, do you have to believe in the worst oh, kind of conspiracy theory? You're, you're back to this thing like there's a difference between the two, but let's let's keep going here. Well, so let's go back to Ukraine. So Ukraine elects really a TV personality. A comedian. A comedian. A comedian. Same thing. TV I, game show host. But a game show host that said he wanted to change politics in a way to get rid of corruption. Right. And they the, the the Ukrainian public believed him. And as soon as he gets into office, our corrupt president tries to make Ukraine more corrupt. <laughs> our corrupt president. You mean Donald Trump's corrupt? Well, so was Mayor Rudolph Giuliani. The idea okay. that he cleaned up New York, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Okay. Tough on Crime, so, so Mr. Broken we, Window we, Theory. We got that part of the... And then, then let's talk about obstruction. What happens when you get a subpoena and you don't show up? Uh, I go to jail. Yeah, it's called, they issue a warrant and they come and arrest you, right? Uh, yes. So Chelsea how? Manning, Handler? No, Chelsea Manning. I think of Chelsea Handler when I think of Chelsea Don't get Manning. confused. Bradley Manning is in jail right now for he, refusing a subpoena. Right. And basically, but not Don McGann. No, and not um, any of the other ones, Manafort, any of the rest of them. Well, Manafort. Manafort's is, already, but I mean, yes, everybody that's con- uh, associated with the Trump Bolton, campaign is convicted. Bolton, he, he, Bolton Mr. Rule of Law, does yeah. not show up. Yeah, so we've got a problem there. So the Democrats and Republicans, they're drawing it straight down party lines. There's a couple of Democrats that are going to say, "Don't do it." There haven't been any Republicans in the House that said they're going to. Well, I would say you, you're missing a very high-profile Republican that, that um, abandoned his party, Justin Amash, from Western Michigan. So he became an un-Republican uh, midway through Trump's okay. presidency. So he's obviously... now well, we, he's we, just, we just had a Democrat who flipped and his, said he was going to be Republican and his staff quit. But other than those, do you see any Republicans saying um, no to Trump or um, a never-Trumper? Do you see any of those happening in the House? I don't see anybody, you know... You, you, we it's going to be straight party lines. We were looking at, at supposedly somebody that was at the CIA, Heard, William Heard down there in Texas. I really have studied who's, oh, who's up okay. on the edge. Okay. And William Heard, who's not running again... Um, we thought he might be one that looked at the Constitution because they swear an oath. Yeah, it's just like when you join the military, you swear an oath. It's funny that the American, the Americans that that really grew up in this country, don't understand the Constitution as much as as the people that were recent immigrants, like Vindman and Yovanovitch, that yeah. understand they the get power. It, they get it hundred percent. They get it, 100%. and supposedly the military people too, which is why I'm still surprised we haven't heard from General Kelly or General Mattis about. You know how this guy was out. Do of you control. think those guys might be white supremacists that got into the military? Um, if you start to look at the, if you start to look at post nine eleven, we seem to have uh, put people in the military and then the police force and the fire department that are what I would call right wing socialists. They are funded by taxpayer dollars, but they seem to vote free market Republican for everybody else. Denigrate. I, I, w- I would like to think that by the time you make it up to the rank of general in the United States military, you are first and foremost swearing an oath to protect and defend this country from enemies, foreign and domestic. And I am going to stick with that. And I think that you really think that's true. I, I think that I've seen true. no generals that that I've seen none 
not absolutely not one that stands up for their oath. They stand up to get double dipped for uh, contracts. Right. They, they want to get paid. Okay. That's Do you what, not think? That's what Greg thinks. Um, I, I mean, we've got the guy who was the head of the CIA and the FBI who's 98 years old and says the guy's got to go. Well, he's absolutely correct. There we are, even have Kellyanne Conway's husband saying he's got to go. Well, George Conway is regretful. There's been a few. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of okay, people... But we're, we're still talking the House. What about when it comes down to the final vote in the Senate? Do you think they're going to be... Do you think that the dear Mormon from uh, Utah, Mitt Romney... Mitt Romney. He it, won't stand up. He won't stand up and, and, and vote his conscience, even though he said over and over... That number he one at Harvard, number one at West Point won't stand up. Secretary Pompeo, yeah, right? Pompeo, number one at Harvard and but Pompeo's West not in Senate. They don't send our, their best, do they? Okay. They just don't send their best. So we, you think that none of these senators is going to stand up on the Republican side of the aisle and say... This has been a farce, a mockery of our them. forefathers fought for the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and these guys can't stand to lose a vote over the Constitution. They would rather destroy the Constitution, allow the Constitution. When you say destroy, that's because we're sep- basically this Congress has house, oversight. They, they, they were checks equal. and balances. Yes, there were yes. three different parts to this, and when you have the Senate saying, "Sorry, we're already." This is moot. We're, we're ruling ourselves out. The, the Senate majority, um, we're not even going to hear the evidence, which is what Mitch McConnell said. You have a serious problem of, of they're all... The Bullet Bureau. You know what the Bullet Bureau is? Do you remember this? Uh, you don't even know what... I'll just say a lot of Americans, not anybody that's going to actually watch this, but a lot of Americans don't even know what, how our system works. But we used there used to be something called the Bullet Bureau that used to... Rubber stamp everything that the... In the USSR. Yes, yes. That's the Soviet Republic. And I'll just tell you... When, when Russia was big and bad and didn't have all these split-off actions like this stupid country. Well, Russian, Ukraine I'll tell you what, that nobody cares about. Putin, Putin is a very, very smart individual. He's playing chess while we're playing checkers. Well, yeah. again, he tapped into... the. That he allowed. I mean, if you look at if you look okay, at Russia, back to the Politburo. Let's get back to well, the Politburo. What I'm saying, they, they do stands. exactly what they said. When you've got Congress, the Senate, and the House Republicans, um, all saying that basically Trump's lying that this is all illegitimate. When in fact they've had hearings, they've had evidence, and it's pretty clear that it is a violation. It's overwhelming. Overwhelming. <laughs> and overwhelming. here we go. We're saying it's it's not the truth. So maybe the question is, should we be impeaching a whole bunch of Republican senators for failure to do their job? Well, I don't think we can impeach. I guess the House can't impeach senators. Um, Oops, did the Founding Fathers screw up and miss something? Well, we, the Founding Fathers, we can't impeach, we can't impeach um, justices, and yeah. we can impeach um, members of his cabinet. But uh, you can censor individuals, but... At this point, you have to you have to look at yourself as a voter and decide what kind of a country you want. But you can't change the Senate that easily. They have six year terms, and only a third of them are up every two years. Well, oh, I just wrote a you know I get published a lot in the Laramie Boomerang and the the Casper Star oh. Tribune. So I just wrote if you go back and look at, at Madison's original idea, right. the original idea was that you were never supposed to vote for your senator. Right. I would have gone for that. I still go for you weren't supposed to vote for your president either. You were supposed to vote for your governor. Right. It's beautiful, really, if you look at it. Your governor got to appoint one senator per term. Right. So the next time your governor comes up for election, do you think he's going to appoint the same Mitch McConnell of year course, after? Of course. This was long before Mr. Jerry Mander got into <laughs> Well, play. what I'm saying is... is because we Madison, haven't picked our own governor in Ohio for a long time. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Well, I mean, they, they offer up somebody. Yeah. We well, got Mike DeWine. You want to talk about a right-wing socialist. Every kid he's ever had, all nine of them, minus one, tragic accident, sorry about her. Okay. Have been on the public nickel. Yeah. And with the blessing of, so he says, Jesus. He is really one of the, he was one of the worst senators. But I'll just say, I found an article I wrote in 2007, 2006 maybe, 
when he was interviewing Robert Mueller as head of the FBI, right. I actually wrote to say the only guy that that Mueller could, that, that the only person that DeWine could actually interview and make himself look good was against Robert Mueller. So I knew the fix was in once they picked doddering Robert <laughs> to land the plane. It's been a very interesting thing to watch the right wing part of the FBI say that it was Democrat. So are you saying the FBI is also a white supremacist organization? Um, I would say yes. Ah, well, locally, locally, we'd have to say so because all they can indict is African Americans for public well, take, corruption, take, just take a look. leaving off of right state entirely. Right state, Mister. I went by the old Sewing Medical Center. It's another guy that's grifted the American taxpayer, Rashi. The eight A program, but yes. that's another story. Another it's episode. been a long story watching Raji, uh, and we've watched American politics. It's very depressing, you know. So, what's the answer here? What 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 has to happen to make things change? I mean, Citizens United can't be blamed. The Russians can't be blamed. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that are swaying people and causing this partisan rift. It's almost like somebody's engineering this whole division of this country to tear us apart and tear us down. Well, I think we've always been, always wanted to kill each other. I, mean, I don't think the wounds of the Civil War really ever got healed. Oh, my God. This is like uh, PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, you know, indigenous people claim that, you know, historic trauma still, and I believe that's kind of true. We never really, everybody says the Great Society worked. Really, the world got better, but for some reason, you know, that's not good enough. People have to complain. They I don't know what when America was great when you have to look at what I don't know what the Republican vision is going forward. I really don't know what the Democrat is. We elect vision. Donald Trump, ill dictator supreme. But, but and then after that I think what does it go to Donnie Jr. or to Ivanka? Oh, I think they do want a dynasty. Matter of fact, I heard somebody right when he got elected, oh my gosh, I can't wait to vote for Don Jr. And then, then Barron eventually? Barron Trump president. How's that sound? Don't bring up Barron. You're not allowed to bring up... Oh! You, know, you can bring up Amy Carter and call her dog face. You can bring up, you know, Chelsea. All the Democrats you can bring up and crucify them as All children. Right. But you can't Barron. Oh, and never mind uh, Malaya and... Uh, I can't remember the other one's name. I'm not good on the kids. Yeah, me neither. I never really was... But. So, so we've got a whole bunch of Democrats running. Sasha. Yeah. Who's gonna Who's gonna pull through that the cluster that the Dems have for, for now? The Democrats. That's an interesting group too. They all they seem to eat their own. Well, as they you have may to. have noticed, they have to. Well, you know, it's the food tree to get up to the top. You gotta. But but what makes everybody so holier than that? If their candidate doesn't get elected, you won't vote for a Democrat. No, I, I think that that. Do we, you think I that's think they learned, I think they learned their lesson. But who do you think should be? Out of that pack, what, who do you, what's your choice? Well, here's the thing. Nobody will like it uh, because I've, I've been excoriated on my little, you know, I, I, I went away from Facebook. He, he likes using these big words just in process. Excoriated. I was excoriated on, on Twitter for, you know, picking my favorite. Which um, is? While I think he's, he is inexperienced, I like the way Mayor Pete talks, but... but um, Come on, Harvard, McKinsey. I mean, this guy's in the secret society, too. Warren was a Republican, too, right? Oh, my God, yeah. Okay, so what are you going to do? Do you, you want people that understand to defeat thine enemy, one must know thine enemy? Is he, <laughs> is that the answer? Is he part of the... I mean, now let's, let's, I, I, I'll just look so at Obama. Let's talk I'll, I'll bitch about Obama. Obama killed al Waki. He killed Americans. I have no problem criticizing Obama. I have no problem criticizing Democrats. But Mr. McKenzie, Mr. Mayor Pete, has been through it. He's too young. But if he would be, you know, none of our Mayor founding, Pete, no, none of our founding fathers were as old as Mayor Pete. Just to, <laughs> just to remind you of something. <laughs> That's true. And if he had Elizabeth Warren as his VP, as his VP, they could run rough. Do the old Dick Cheney on on, on the financial sector and, and, and on the military sector, which okay. is one of the bloated. Oh, I'm bloated beyond. Yes. Compared, Again, but. the last Republican president that was any good was Eisenhower. They have all gone downhill from there. And the beginning of the nadir was Reagan. I mean, 
Really, he was a terrible, terrible, terrible president. How did you, how were you a Republican again? How did you claim to be a Republican, yet you were born after Eisenhower? I was born after Eisenhower. I'll just tell you this little secret. Uh, I voted one time in the Republican primary in 2000. Uh, the reason is, is because I wanted John McCain Kane to be the Republican. Him. In other words, yeah. you, there was nothing to vote for. Gore was the guy to be elected. Gore got robbed in Florida. And, and you know, his... So I knew Gore was going to be in the thing. So what your and, best and bet was... And by the that, way, if you're still watching this, you are a hero. Well, <laughs> again, we'll get way down the weeds. But if right. you're watching this, you're actually learning something. Because most people come home and watch five minutes of MSNBC or Fox News or listen to something. And really, the things that are going on here are much more nuanced and much more frightening, kind of, in a certain way. That so than, so than, here's the thing. So if I sound frantic, here's I the, am. Here, I think the biggest problem is most Americans think they can become a millionaire and don't realize what a millionaire is to a billionaire. I mean, I really don't think they understand the scope and scale of an extra comma in that, that equation. So it's it to become a millionaire it's ten thousand a day for like three hundred days something like that to become a billionaire it's ten thousand a day for two hundred and sixty four years right that is the scale okay some it's some huge. number like that it's huge and when you have a billion dollars all you care about is interest and how do you get interest well you own things that you rent to other people be it money. The be government. It, the government. <laughs> be it real estate. Be, be it whatever. They cannot go broke. All they care about is protecting themselves. Well, see, Donald Trump never earned a billion. He never Donald was a Trump, billion. Donald he Trump just spent a, his dad's money. Donald Trump is a fraud. We know that. Total fraud. But he likes to hobnob with billionaires and Jeffrey Epstein, too. But we won't even go down that rabbit hole. Wait, wait, wait. So do Democrats. I mean, yeah, everybody wanted you, a little you, bit of that. When you go for power, you yep. want to be serviced. And so, so you don't want to... You want to flip a remote... I mean, so, at least Robert Kraft gr drove down let's, let's, to get the hand Let's out. look at our congressman here in Ohio 10. When I first met him, he was driving a Dodge Shadow. Do you remember what a Dodge Shadow looked like? It was a little Econo box, cost maybe $12,000 new, and he had a Bush 1 bumper sticker on it. After he got elected mayor, he's driving a Cadillac. He used to live in Huffman. Then he was living out in a little gated community in Centerville. Now he's living in Performance Place. He became a multi-millionaire. How did he do that? I don't know because, you know, What's as mayor, saying? mayor he was making $45,000 a year tops. And as a congressman, he's making $178,000 a year. And he's got to support two homes. Now, I know he kicked a bunch of mo government money over to his wife. Which one? The Turner Effect, the first one, Lori Turner. You know, they did a lot of work for the Dayton Development Coalition. They did work for the Army Corps of Engineers. They did work for the Home Depot Political Action Committee. But no, that wasn't some way of buying off a congressman, was it? So he made money that way. And then he made money because he also supposedly worked when he was Dayton mayor for Modern Technologies, which is owned by Raj Roger Soy. Soy. And somehow he made a, a killing when that got sold. But he, he was never an owner Wait a second. Did he make a kick? Because I looked up the SEC filings on. See, I went down the weeds. Oh, with okay, okay. So the only the way you can hide it, or the way you could hide it, because you can't you can't really hide direct payments to you. Uh -huh. What you can hide is that you can get a you can get a four hundred one k. He could have been he could have been vested in the four hundred one k program. So when it went public. He got paid off that way because yeah. those shares aren't reportable. Well, now they are. Well, there you go. So Mikey became a multimillionaire. And he continues to win in Congress and keep people continue to think that he's somehow... But he must doing... be terrible in the sack because Daryl Issa, his best man... He can't even get a best man from somebody in Dayton. Somebody... Does anybody a friend of Mike Turner's in Dayton? Um, so your best man is Daryl Issa from California for your second marriage? 
Who does he know in Dayton? And his second marriage didn't last very long. Either. Well, we don't last a lot longer with Daryl. <laughs> Daryl was in the set getting it done for him. That's exactly right. Uh-huh. He was going to be deposed in... Did you ever read this? His uh, divorce? He was going to have... Daryl's divorce? Yeah. Well, okay, go for it. I didn't I didn't get that. You didn't really... No, did, I didn't... Do no, Daryl Issa... He was going to pull Daryl Issa into... Do you mean that, that lobbyist was sleeping with Daryl? His, his best wife, man? who was also... His what? wife was sleeping with his best man. Ooh! <laughs> That hurts. Well, I don't think he was getting it done with Lori either, to be totally honest. Um, that's well, maybe that's why Lori went from happy when she first, he first got elected to not so happy by the time he got, well, he's they getting got divorced. A, he's getting his pick of the litter. Whatever. Um, I'll just say, you know, it, it's a very interesting world we live in. Um, a lot of people claim Christianity. A lot of people claim these things. But, it, you know, Turner okay. uh, did never worked at a so, very large firm that generates a lot of money. I know how you can generate a lot of money and you can do it through public offerings, which probably happened with modern technologies. And okay. Went to but let's let's get back to once this impeachment thing's over and the Senate says no and the House says yes, what are we left with? We are left with Donald Trump running for president again with Mike Pence unfettered. Do you think he's going to keep Mike Pence? Oh, who do you think he's going to pick? Well, he might go with Nikki. We'll see. With who? Right now, he wants to with keep who? Nikki Haley. Oh, why would he go with Nikki Haley? Um, he always, I don't know. She's he, she's a Republican governor, and she's a woman. A woman, and um, an Indian. Indian. An Indian. Oh, well, don't get me going. You missed Rush, the Rush Sloan connection. Uh, again, but but she's also, as Donald would say, she's hot. You know, he he'd rather have a hot vice president probably than um, Mike Pence. Yeah, that was John McCain's downfall too. Palin, <laughs> come on, pick somebody with at least I don't know about. Come Palin. on, she did, she did great as governor. <laughs> well, you know, it so, does have the highest so, uh, so, rape percentage and. Uh, uh, violent so, crime per capita, old Alaska does. No, that's Palin. We're talking about Nikki. I'm just saying. Okay. So anyway, so Trump might have a new vice president that's more photogenic. And I don't know, does that get him more votes than uh, Mikey? How does that get him more votes? Because I don't think he's got a problem getting votes in the South. I, you know, I don't think, it, I really think he probably keep, has to keep Pence. Yeah, he has to because um, these are the same He's not going to be removed. But I do think he has a smaller base to get. But I know a lot of people in Ohio. It's all the electoral college, and he's got that wrapped up because of these states like yours, where wait, basically wait, they. Wait, 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 wait. Ohio is the real bellwether state. People like me moved out. And as a matter of fact, I absolutely know more Democrats from Ohio okay. that live in Wyoming. Yeah, but they. So if they would have stayed in Ohio, would we have tilted the. Would have come back to, to more of a purple state. You yeah. see, Ohio's gone red. Ohio's only gotten rid because of gerrymandering and because Hillary Clinton was not a good candidate for the Dems. So, let's get back to it. She so, was the most qualified so, candidate so you, ever. You and I actually agree. I think if I want somebody to talk to foreign governments and to ease things over and can go and speak their language and be diplomatic, I think Mayor Pete's phenomenal. Okay? Withstanding the fact that yeah, he's got Nan Whaley in the pocket. As to a VP... Um, what was Nan Milley backing him? Oh, Nan's backing him. She had a private fundraiser for him. Isn't that great? Anyways, um, hopefully she'll get indicted soon, too. But we'll see. That's if the FBI doesn't actually indict white people, which we haven't seen yet. Well, they did Roush. Anyways, but go on. Well, so um, you got to write for, a book called Clinton Cash, which for, was oh, made up on everything. And that's what you indict on. So the, then you look at who the vice presidential candidate is for um, Pete. I really don't know who he'd pick. I think that the youth movement might, um, he might stick to that. I don't, he might put a Warren on the shelf. He might not go with Bernie. He might not go with Biden or any of the rest of them. He might go somebody young. It might be um, Tulsi Gabbard. It might be, who knows? Tulsi Gabbard? Yeah. Why wouldn't you pick Warren? I mean, that would be my idea. Be Age, kind of ageism. I think he's going for the youth folk. You know, I was talking to a guy at a rest stop who was from, um, 
He's from Turkey, and he'd been here like 10 years. He said, I don't understand why you have such old politicians. You know, if you want change, you're not going to get it from the old guys. But if you look, though, you can count on people to vote that are old. And so that's the reason Biden's doing Okay, so if you're under 40 and you don't vote, it's your fault. Well, that is kind of And what's going to happen if we have four more years of Trump? What's going to happen? I mean, the Supreme Court's screwed because RBG ain't going to make it another four years. Well, that's right. We already have 30 years of terrible decisions heading our way because of the the courts, packing the courts. So the Supreme Court will get packed all Republican with 40, 45, 50 years. McConnell has packed the courts with more uh, justices in the time... Trump's been in office the entire time Obama was in office. Right. So we're screwed on, on our No, course. we're not screwed. We're white people. We're just fine. It's the younger, diverse America that is screwed. Okay. It is actually a the middle class and all America women, that is all screwed. All women, because you won't be able to get an abortion anywhere in this country. But abortion rates are going down. People are more educated. I, I mean, I don't understand. As abortion rates go down, they just keep hammering abortion. The world has gotten better. Okay. Well, the world has actually gotten better. I, th- I think the world's getting close to ending if we let him Well, that's why I'm a Second Amendment Democrat. And I still have my lever action 44 because that's what the Second Amendment was about. And I so wouldn't Democrat- let him bring it. So Democrats that don't understand the Constitution themselves, they're finally getting a, an education in it, leave the gun thing alone. Uh, again, yeah, because your guns are going to stand up to the military's tanks and... Well, again, and we, we, I have just alluded that half the military is maybe white supremacists. We, we let that baby go. But I'm not worried too much about our American uh, military. I do believe there's some real patriots there, and I think they understand it. However... So are we going to have a coup? Uh, no, I think they... I thought we had real generals at one time that would stand up. Even Obama doesn't really stand up and say anything. I mean, I wonder where he is. He was always, though, uh, a Wall Street guy. That's what I worry right. about with Mayor Pete. He won't pick Warren because he's kind she's of anti Wall Street. Yeah, yeah well, he's a neoliberal Democrat, which isn't the way to go. Well, you could have picked Warren with him as the VP. You know, Joe did the the foreign policy stuff under Obama, so maybe uh, Mayor Pete does it. Um, maybe that's right, but I just... she gets blown away by the bankers or the mob or whoever I, else. Yes, see, I worry about... If she's just in the background, I don't know. You know, everybody would say it's a misogynist or whatever. I mean... You can't see a female president. I can't... What do you mean? I pulled the lever hard for Hillary Clinton. Okay. She was the most qualified candidate, but I watched 30 let me, years let of... me Let me ask you one more question. Have you seen The Irishman yet? The movie on Netflix about Jimmy Hoffa uh, with no, De Niro and Pacino? It might be the most anti-union movie yet. And people are watching this and they're not doing their homework and finding out what really happened and who killed Hoffa because the guy that's telling this story on the, in the movie, he wasn't it. It's sort of uh, manufactured history. But uh, it does not reflect well on the Teamsters whose pension funds were being used by the mobsters in Vegas and other things, and they had a, quite a deal going on. So, Well, it just goes to prove that that everybody can be manipulated. Money no talks. Money. So, well, that's why Bloomberg's in the race. He's got more money than God. He can run his own campaign. Shouldn't he be the president? Just uh, buy it outright. Auctions, not elections. I'm not interested in billionaires running my life. I don't. Trust them to you make the right You gotta decision. trust Bloomberg, though. He was great for New York. Look how much he gentrified it. Again, the world continued to get better in New York. I mean, the crime okay. went down. The the so Bloomberg Bloomberg should be your man. Or wait, what about Yang? Freedom dividends, uh, universal basic income. I mean, if you really look at it, as it, we have a lot of issues coming up. We had a labor surplus at the turn of the. The century here with the Industrial Revolution, um, USSR killed theirs, China killed theirs, and we had a recession here. We reallocated that labor now to, to do other things. Yeah, we, we, this we can next open up so many tattoo shops, massage parlors, yoga studios, 
and personal trainers. There's, there's a, and coffee. I mean, that's it. That's all we've got. Now Georgia. that we have, and you need two jobs to make one or three. Well, that's true. So we should be having discussions about what's the future of labor force. Um, so you know, Yang, Yang's on on the money, right? Boy, well, again, that's why I love this feel. Joe Biden, who was under the, you know, wrote part of the crime bill. Again, crime, right? Started to go down in 1990. The crime bill passed in 1993. We got enough people in prison to keep the criminal business in business for a long time. I get, I get it. We don't need any more criminals. No, we don't. But what I'm saying the is, is well if we can, what we have is a group of people. We can look at the history of America in the last 40 years. And these people were here when things happened. They made votes on Afghanistan. They, they are the same... <laughs> That, there's the problem. Biden was in the Senate for far too long. And he was in politics for far too long. We should recycle people. Now, uh, you and I would be much better uh, in the Congress. Ooh. What's wrong with the chorus of different people? That's why when everybody, oh, I don't like Ilian Omar. What do you mean? She represents part of the American experience, mm-hmm. part of the chorus that should be in Congress. It's the people's house. Yeah, but that squad, they're up to no good. Again, they can't change that much. Even when Trump was elected, he can't change like he had wanted. 435 to. people to get them all on the same trip. It's it, really hard. That's right. Yeah. The, 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 the Congress is a fantastic institution. It's been corrupted by money. We yeah, will we'll agree. And, and gerrymandering. And, you know, the fairness doctrine. You know, letting, letting Limbaugh say lies every day. Against progressive ideas, it, it just it just debases the conversation. We could have really important conversations. We but that's First have. Amendment rights. You know, you can say anything you want. I can say you're fat and ugly, and your mother dresses you funny, and that's fine. But if you get cash for that, or if you're in the open market, um, you it, should be able to sue me. No, I'm not. Not. not no, we don't want the libel laws like uh, England has. Again, Trump will be suing everybody. That's all he does is litigiousness. Yeah. He doesn't do anything well for America. All right. So there was a total ramble for way too long. Not really. And if you paid attention, you learned a lot because there's a lot going on. And and, and, and we're as clueless as the rest of you as to what's going to read the tea leaves for the next two, three weeks as this thing progresses. Oh, I think we can read the tea leaves quite well. So he gets impeached in the House. Pompeo Senate. should testify. Melvaney should testify. Bolton, Bolton should, should testify, testify, but they won't. But the, but the House shouldn't have done impeachment yet. They should wait till April. They should wait till they get all their subpoenas through that, that they have to comply with. And Bolton should testify. Pompeo should testify. Mulvaney should testify. And the, Sen- and the Senate, the Republicans are going to ignore the testifying and say he's our man anyway. That's why they should wait on impeachment. Just roll it. Look, I listened to Whitewater for years and... For our younger group, Benghazi, uh, Benghazi, and the server, the email server, Benghazi again, butter emails. Yeah. Again, if you think the New York Times is doing us a favor, it's a Manhattan paper. So I read the New York Times, but you have to read it with a John Destai because it only cares about New York. It only cares about Manhattan. It acts like it's a a, a liberal paper. A it really paper. is not. It is a corporate. They came up. They came against. They came out. Against Trump, impeach him. Can't has to happen. So, but four days so before did, the so election, so all you could see is Hillary Clinton's emails. Right. Donald Trump. Trump was the most corrupt person in New York. Boy, we are going to call out one. Oh, and moment. they wrote that story. They showed all his. Uh, yeah, animals. on ten inside the fold. Okay. Come all on. right. Well, we would like to thank you for watching. And since it's Greg you. and Greg isn't around that much, so this is a little longer than normal. Um, but thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you got some comments or stuff, please leave them in the comments. And it wouldn't hurt for you to subscribe too, because I also notify you of meetings, uh, local meetings, political events. I tape them. He's the best. Away. He takes the most risk. This guy deserves everything that he deserves way more than he gets. He gives a lot to I, the I didn't, community. I didn't pay him to say that. No, he's not. I actually paid him. To buy impeachment t-shirts. Woohoo! Next time I'm out at the bars and I see those Trump hats out, I'm going to bust out my t-shirt and say, impeach him. We're going to see what happens.
And I also have those Orwell shirts for sale still. Uh, make, make, uh, make what? <sighs> I know. It's a scene. Make Orwell fiction again. Make Orwell fiction again. <laughs> I have those for sale at the next wave And, um, you can always, um, again, if you in, take the time to hit subscribe, if I get up to a thousand subscribers, I might be able to actually run some ads and get some money back. I won't get much. But, for instance, when I exposed the pepper spraying in the jail, that video got an awful lot of views and I didn't get a penny off of it. And then there was also when I exposed the Russian troll who got elected the school board for not living in the district. I exposed a whole bunch of stuff there and nothing happened. But there you go. So, well, this the is... Daily News ain't a paper anymore. No, it sure ain't. Three days a week's coming soon. Watch is out. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Because they got bought by Apollo. Where have you been? Anyways. Well, I noticed Jimmy Bevington's the editor. That's oh, good. Geez. He moved finally up there. Oh, there you go. I remember getting editorial board that, back That then. doesn't solve anything. Anyways, Should I'm David as Roddy. This is Greg Hunter. And we're saying, see ya. Thank you.